The surveys in SharePoint are a very useful feature to use for collecting data for a variety of reasons. If you want to create a survey, you start by going into Site Actions, View All Site Content or More Options, click the Create button at the top, and if this one comes up the way it has been in a little while, go to Under Tracking to Survey. You'll have to give your, uh, your survey a title. I'm just going to do this one for an example. You have the option of showing it in the Quick Launch Toolbar or not. And I guess you would do that depending on how you're going to share it. If you want someone to go to your site and find it, you can put it on the Quick Launch. If you would rather send them a link, it's not necessary to put it on the Quick Launch. The next one ask if you want this to be anonymous or not. If you click no, then no one will know who has responded or can read anybody else's. So I'll put no and make it anonymous. And of course, you don't want to allow multiple responses. You just want people to take the survey once. Click Next. This is your first question. You have several choices of the types of questions. The default is for a choice, so I'll leave it at the default. If you want it to be required, you click that button. You would erase what's there. So I'm going to put in four choices. If you want the um, participant to be able to uh, check more than one box, you put check boxes. Radio buttons will only allow one choice. I'm going to go to the bottom and click next question. This t time I'll put in a single line of text. So that would give them just a line to put their response on. One of them that is on here says yes, no, and I would caution you not to use that one because um, when it comes up it's not real clear. I think it has a yes box, it doesn't have a no. So if you wanted a yes, no question, um, What I do is leave it on a choice and then just put yes, no here. So next question. For a rating scale, you can play around with this, but uh, you would put your question up here. Um, let me see, how would you rate the weather? And then down here, I'm going to have to put the different things I'm going to have it rate. So, summer, fall, winter, and spring. I can make the number range higher or lower, depending on what I want, and I can change these. So, I'm just going to click Finish, because we've got a few questions to look at. When you are going to the survey settings, you will see all four questions that you have put in. The one that I checked was required will show that. You can go back into any of them and um, revise them, edit them, delete them, whatever. If you don't like the order of the questions, you've got change order here. So I can change and put them in any order I want. Under advanced settings, you might want to go in here if, uh, let's see, if you only want them to be able to see their own response and not look at the others which for confidentiality could be important, so that's under the advanced settings. The last thing you'll want to do is set the permissions for this survey. That's under permissions for this survey. You should actually be able to have this up here on a tab that says library settings. But I'll go ahead and show you under permissions. This will need to have unique permissions, so you're going to click Stop Inheriting Permissions. And just because I need to keep this a little shorter, I'm going to give the permissions to all authenticated users, which would mean anybody that can log into SharePoint. 
you might want to choose specific um, users by going to grant permissions but you do need to edit their permissions and there is one at the bottom called participate in discussion board and or survey that's important for you to click because that will allow them to be able to answer but not to change the questions so that's what it would look like and then when you're ready to go to the survey uh, I always kind of look at it to see how the questions came out if it looks like the way I thought it should if I take the survey I can't go in and look at it again so be sure just to look at it and this is the link that you would send to people to have them complete the survey